Hi friends, I'm Jill Ovnick and thank you for joining us for March's Recipes for Healthy Fats and Vegan Gal. We're making some fabulous recipes, three vegan, gluten-free, low-fat, delicious recipes. You're going to love them. We're going to make Jolie Gems, which are one of my favorite cookies. My daughter is Jolie and I made up this cookie recipe a long, long time ago. I think we featured it a couple years ago for Healthy Facts and I made these in my retreats many, many times people love these cookies. So you just want to gather everything together. They're gluten-free. The first ingredient you're going to need is oat flour, and you don't need to go to the store to buy oat flour. Just put rolled oats or instant oats in your blender and blend it till you have a flour. So that'll save some money because oats are pretty inexpensive. So one and a half cups of oat flour, and then you have a half a cup of rolled oats. If you don't have those, I'm sure the instant oats would work as well. And um, we're going to have three-fourths of a cup of organic sugar, mm. some cranberries, you can use cherries, um, you can use raisins if you like, but I like the pretty red color. And Linda's favorite fruit, coconut. This is a <laughs> lovely unsulfured coconut from the health food store. It's not sweetened, it's just really lovely and um, yeah. pure coconut. Mm. And then um, I've got two kinds of almonds. I like the slivered and the, the sliced, um, just because there's a little bit of texture in both. And these were actually roasted, so they have more of that almondy flavor. These cookies are a nice blend of almond and, and sweetness, and there's a, a nice crunch because of the almonds and also because of the millet that we're using. We're using a raw millet which is a grain and really healthy and it's fun in this recipe it stays crunchy um, which is a great use for millet in Mexico they use millet often in a sweet dessert mix it with honey and, and it's kind of a crunchy sweet bar so what, that inspired me when I was in Mexico to do that um, to try millet in that way and it just turned out really good so this is a winner recipe uh, and then we're using a little baking soda um, I'm sorry baking powder a little salt and a little egg replacer powder I don't know that this is that important if you don't have egg replacer powder and I'm not even calling for very much you can use ground flaxseed which always um, ground flaxseed also works as a, as a binder in baking things but this egg replacer powder is nice to have on hand. It has a very long shelf life, and, um, and it's just good to have in your pantry. So then we're going to stir that up a little bit, and then we're going to add a cup of milk with added to it a half a teaspoon of almond extract. Ooh, I think I added a little bit more there, but that's okay. Can't go wrong. It's good. Yeah, it's strong, though. You get the good quality mm. stuff, and it's not... Uh, alcohol or whatever. So the recipe says to just um, kind of let this sit for half an hour, stir it up, and let it let it rest for a minute before you bake it. So that's what we're going to do. All right. So you see, after it's been sitting a while, it gets a lot more gloopy. And then if you have one of these um, little cookie guys, I'm sorry, I don't have a cookie uh, normal cookie tray here, but this will be a quick and easy way to get them ready for the oven. Here are our beautiful Jolie Gems out of the oven. They're so good. Yum. I'm going to make some black bean enchiladas for you today. These are just, you can't go wrong with Mexican, right, Linda? That's right. Mexican is That's just right. a great cuisine, and especially for plant-based eaters like myself, the combination of beans and salsa and guacamole and cilantro, if you like cilantro. But there's just so many, it always tastes good to me. I can't get enough. So what we're going to just do is start getting the um, onion, green pepper, and garlic going in a nice big pot. I'm just going to use a little um, little water to uh, get my pan started. But you can use vegetable broth or just a little bit of oil. So now that this the, the veggies are nice and cooked, we're going to add uh, fold in some brown rice that I had cooked. You can also get the brown rice at the store that's already pre-cooked to save some time. I'm going to put a little bit of salsa in and some nutritional yeast flakes. And I'm also going to put in, um, oh, we've got some corn. And then I'm going to use the, the Follow Your Heart uh, shreds, the cheese cheesy shreds that are 100% dairy free and delicious, but you can, you can try other kinds. Or you could just leave this out altogether and use um, 
the nutritional yeast because that will lend the cheesy flavor. But this is going to be just ready to go into our in our corn tortillas in just a few seconds here. Let me just use this as my little scoop. See if that works. Roll it up. Seam side down. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to need another. Need another. And then this is the enchilada sauce. So we'll just pour a little bit of that on and then boom. Um, a little chopped cilantro. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna spread this uh, sauce out a little bit to cover the the top of the corn tortillas, and then we'll put a little um, cilantro on top. This is the wrong knife too. Oh, there you go. I have like a better knife. Why are you doing it like the people on the cooking show? Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is pretty. Oh, yeah. Thumbs up. All right. I'm going to get these in the oven so we can try one. I'm going to make this really wonderful cranberry chickpea walnut, let's see, that's not the official name, cranberry walnut chickpea salad, cranberry walnut chickpea salad, all right, there you go. I'm using some real cranberries that I had in the freezer, and it's really good at that time of year of cranberry season, whenever that is for you to, you know, fall, to get them in the freezer, or, you know, you can usually go to your grocer and get some frozen if you want, just thaw them out and cut them up, or use the dried cranberries. Um, either way, it's just it's, this salad is so good. You're gonna wanna um, gonna wanna try this out. The walnuts, yum, and I think this adds sort of the texture that makes this taste a little bit more like a tuna salad than my normal chickpea salad. So I was really excited to get this recipe. The dressing of tahini, apple cider vinegar, a little bit of water, and a little bit of sweetener. Um, the dates we're gonna use is just a great combination. And then we just got some wonderful celery and some green onions. So it, it's, it's an easy to put together salad and my assistant Linda shot, or she kind of used the potato masher to get the, the chickpeas to a nice um, you know, consistency. These are two cans and then you can use a fork as well. So some of the chickpeas are still left a little bit whole and then some of them are kind of uh, you know, mashed up a bit. And I already made this. Um, it's just so delicious. It's really got some good flavors. You can add as much salt and pepper as you like to kind of add more flavor or, you know, alter the dressing a little bit. But it's basically um, six tablespoons or a third of a cup of tahini and then four tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I'm going to use a couple of dates and then a little water to kind of thin as needed. And I think I'm going to put the water in first so that we've got looseness at the bottom of the, uh, of the blender because yesterday it was kind of sticking with the tahini going in first. Our dates and our apple cider vinegar. You want to shake up your apple cider, cider vinegar a little bit to um, get that what you call the mother down there incorporated. And apple cider vinegar is really a, a nice healthy uh, um, ingredient to have on hand too. And um, do, not, do not be afraid of the dark uh, things at the bottom that settle there. It's just the, the good nutrition and um, good for digestion. Okay, I'll let this rip. So you can see this really looks like tuna salad. It tastes more like tuna salad and it's just delicious. So I um, encourage you to make this and enjoy it. Make it your own. We did some wonderful recipes today. You guys are doing great. Taking care of yourself. Keep eating well. I'm Jalopnik. Thank you for watching.